decided to level it out a little bit after they poured it out. Well, I don't want any black dirt coming through the gravel, so smoothing it up a little bit with this outfit. Just a little touch up stuff. Get the new bin project going in this summer, so um, this wasn't poured out good enough before, so we're just going to do it better where a lot of the truck traffic is. Eventually it'll be the the pit will be here with the lake and stuff. And so there'll be a lot of traffic in this area going to the wet bins right there. So we have like 50, 50 to 55,000 bushels of wet, wet bin capacity. Should we go talk to our our concrete pouring friends? They're not pouring yet, are they? Well, they're not pouring yet, but it looks like they're getting it ready to be poured. They're over there. Or we could talk to the guys in the landscaping too. So much to talk about. So much to see. Oh, garbage. We're going to make the corner here with this retaining wall and tie it up with that uh, cement right there, the front pad. So right here it's going to be connected all the way around the corner here. Yeah, it be like black dirt in there, so it'll be some plantings along with some rock on top, I suppose, for low maintenance. These steps right here. Steps couple, going up into that arm that's left. A couple steps, yeah. We don't have much for elevation around here, but we so happen to have a little bit on this end, so that's why I decided to put that wall in there and add a little to it, I guess. So this slab just got poured today. Yeah, they poured this one this morning, but the white one was poured two days ago. Yesterday or the day before, I don't remember, but uh, that's like a, a one in ten slopes. In other words, one inch drop every ten feet, and it goes out twenty feet, so it's... Uh, two inches down and then we did this separate because this is a harder s slope a transition into it so it's like five and ten and that way we don't have it so steep going our gravel so steep going up to it so that's why we turned this had this a little more slope to it and then obviously the As the dirt see, will slope add, down we're gonna too. have to add in quite a bit of gravel we'll probably have to go rocks otherwise the gravel will erode but we'll just feather it in out to the driveway out there and it'll it'll be okay Rather be too high with the cement and too low. Go see what the guys are doing over here on the landscaping on this side. So this is where the landscaping project's going on. One of them. One of them. Yep. Yep, working on steps right here off the porch and steps will be a sidewalk here going out to the fire fire pit area that's circular. It's in a pro progress, obviously. So then out here is going to be just... The center area here will be like a flower bed or whatever, where the garden hoses are laying. Oh, okay, where there isn't any bricks or yep. anything. Yeah, like you see kind of the sidewalk will go off of these steps right here, go all toward that. And there'll be steps from that patio up to that patio, which will be, be an outdoor stone fireplace. And then the grill is up near the house and stuff. So with a pergola up there and all that, but we'll show that later as it progresses yeah. along. Right. They do a really nice, nice job. Once they start pouring that other slab over there, then I'll, then I'll show you guys the process of how they do that. It's kind of neat. Don't you think? Don't I think? Don't you think that's pretty neat? I think it's pretty neat, yeah. back breaking work that pulling that mud around but they got some machines and tools that move it around and it helps a lot. At least they did up here. I don't know if they will back here or not. This... Yeah it makes my back just hurt watching them. I suppose you could have done that back in the day though. Still could. Oh yeah. He thinks so anyway. 
He'd be laid up for a month if he tried. <laughs> Today we got Evan with. Evan, can you say hi? Hi. Okay, what are we doing today? Farming. Farming, that's right. I had a bunch of gravel brought in and we're gonna get that all leveled out. And we're working on a bin pad. There are three bin pads, I guess. Trucks coming there. I think there's about a half dozen of them. Uh, also, shiver systems getting upgraded. Um, it's a older system that we bought probably back in 2013, I think, 12 or 13. So it'll do quite a bit more than what we originally had. They put in the bigger fans here. Big centrifugals. Yeah, so should work pretty nice. Things aren't all hooked up, and we'll visit that later. At a later date, we'll go through all that when it's done. Um, what Evan? He's got his lunchbox with. We'll go sit over here and have some lunch, okay? All right. It's a gravel pile there we stripped off. We put some gravel in here last year just to temp for temporary for the truck to drive around. We didn't cord out or nothing. So we put that there. I'm gonna try to set you guys up somewhere to do some time lapse or something. So I gotta figure out where, where to put you. Oh gosh. Let's see, put you way up top here. Uh, Lee don't know what to think. So Lee's gonna Lee's gonna start leveling stuff out. What he tries to do here is put in about a 10 inch to a 12 inch lift every time. I 
believe. I could be wrong on that. But, uh, what a lift is they raise it up, pack it, raise it up, pack it. So do it in stages. So the reason that this is getting built up so high is the ground has a slow taper coming this way. And it's making it where to keep these bins level, there's going to be about five feet to lift here to the bottom of where they got to pour the slab because you got a six inch center and then you got your footing. But anyway, so this, this pad's got to be just about five feet high here, which is, I mean, we shot it before we started. We knew it was going to be a lot, but it's just kind of that cards were dealt there's so much fall in this yard um, and I know guys down south that have hills and all that I'm sure this is nothing but it it just adds to the expense of the project so like in about 80 90 well even 100 feet there's about uh, a foot of fall you know going this way so it just it gets to be a lot of fill to keep everything level um, so what they're using right now is a class three with a, a, a decent amount of binder in it. As you can tell, it, it packs really, really nice. Um, some really nice material. But we'll take you down and, and get a better look at what's going on. So this kind of gives you an idea of how much material is getting brought in. We did dig this out. Uh, about 10 inches or whatever, you can kind of see it over here. Just took the topsoil off. Right there. Some, this isn't all of it, this is just some of it. We've hauled out probably this much already out in the field. Here's the lift that he's doing. You can kind of see while well, it's higher here, but this this here he's already uh, you know filled in and packed. So as you can see, that's the that's the stages there. Got a side dump hauling too, so that's the only place he can really dump. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Should have got more video of us digging this out. Thanks to my relative, Alex. You guys are doing a good job. Uh, Stoska Trucking out of Oro too, they've been, they brought in a bunch of trucks to help all, so appreciate them guys too. So, we'll check back later. Seated it, so there was some nitrogen there. But 
this is all nitrogen, obviously. We like to do it a little bit later, like this, once the drop comes up. We've been doing it for quite a few years this way. We used to put it on prior to uh, tillage or seeding and work it in, which is a nice way and safe to get it in and incorporate it. And now we, we do it on top, we've got a whole terrain, but we do have most of everything we did yesterday. Which you, I heard that you did about almost over 900 acres yesterday. Yeah, we had a pretty good day yesterday. That's a really good day. And uh, that all had a nitrogen stabilizer on it. So that gives us up to um, a week of protection. If it doesn't rain, we won't lose it. We're a wee bit early putting it on maybe, but the forecast is talking rain all next week. Yeah, I, I just checked the forecast and it says Tuesday through Friday. Yeah, so that's why we're doing it now, but over the weekend, Memorial weekend normally. Rather not be, but that's what you gotta do. You'd rather be out having fun with your toys than yeah. sitting in the interrogator all day and all night. But it's okay, it's fun. But once Especially it's done, it's got, done. The drop is coming nice, it looks good, so it's exciting to get this on. If we get a rain, it'll really look, be off to the races. So yeah, to a good start. So how fast can you go in this thing? I go about 14, 15 mile an hour. Flipping right along then. Yeah. How uh, wide are your booms? I honestly don't know. I'm thinking around 70 feet, whatever interrogator bo booms are. I suppose they're all pretty standard size. Well, I think there are some newer models that are a little, some bigger ones. I'm not sure. I don't pay much attention. I don't know. It does a good job for us. We've had this thing for a few years now. And then we got the little windows back here so that you can see when you're almost empty, when you need to fill up. And by the looks of it, you're almost empty. Yeah, this is my last pass on this field. A lot worked out good. I no, hope I'm at the far corner. I think I'll go down there and we'll fill. I think that's where he's at. Check the density of the product. They have it on the on the slip when we get it, but I still like to double check it and make sure it correlates with what they what's, got. What's the red tube here you got? So for checking the density, I'll do it and show you. level on here with a little weight, so you just slide it till the bubble's level. Yep, the same as what I've been getting, so I don't have to change anything. Looks good. So that's two things you got to enter in to get the proper rate. Density and the pounds per acre that we're putting on, which, which I enter in here. Okay. Auto. 